Hello everyone. Hi, this is Amit Sharma and welcome back to my channel Web for Click. Today, I will tell you amazing image tracing features of Illustrator. To understand more deeply, you can see my first part. The link is present in description or you can visit on my channel Web for Click. Now, take a bigger image, high profile image. So, this is our high profile image that I want to change into vector. Click on embedded first. I do not want this background or this extra portion over here. So what I need to do, take a pen tool and select the portion that you want to make the vector. Select the stroke and I just doing it roughly. Now I have selected all the portion that I need. I also can change it by click on it just make it small above and everything is okay now give it to a color remove the stroke and make a clip mask here you can see our aim image is ready but when I going to click on it no option is highlighted over here so what I need to do I just go to the object and click on rasterize and do it transparent now first I want to make it colorful vector just click on it and here we go by expand our image has been converted into vector here you can see there is no much clarity in this image just select control Z you looking this option over here high color you can click on it or you can select this option over here high fidelity photo so I just click on it click on preview and now you can see how clear is it this is our vector can you believe it just expand it and you can see this is a vector portion you can remove the white portion by click on it and our image is ready in vector you can stretch image as you want and you will see no any clarity is missing over here so this is very amazing feature of illustrator now go to our old position so this was our colored tutorial the next option you're looking over here is low color this will work same as the auto color so leave it and next one is gray scale gray scale you also can select it by here in color section as i click on gray scale you can see a very amazing changes has been done into image now you can see some fidelity is coming over here so i can change it or make it more gray now you can see our fidelity has been gone and image is more clear i also can change background by expand delete it change the background give it to the background color whatever i want like this so this is looking pretty nice so this was our gray scale tool for the next one I make it undo and go to the previous position so after gray scale next we go to the black and white vector when I click on black and white you will see the black and white portion has been come and if I increase the threshold the darkness will increase you can change the threshold according to your I think this is okay and path is more sufficient and make it high corners and noise okay so this is our image that is black and white so if i doing any large work like making any psd flyer and i need some icons so no need to work hard so just go to the google and search the icons just download that icon in your system drag and drop into the illustrator and just click on image dress click on expand and our icon is ready
and this was the introduction of image tracing in illustrator on advanced level hope you would enjoy the link is present in description or you can visit on my channel web for click and subscribe the channel if you want more knowledgeable content